Hi, my name is Shelley Curran and I am running for the Canton City Charter Commission. I was asked here today by the Stark County Political Report to answer a question, which is as follows. If Canton voters approve the formation of a Charter Commission and you are selected by them to staff one of the 15 positions, what is your point of view on the following? Do you favor presenting a Canton Charter Government structure to Canton voters in November 2016? that mirrors Canton's current statutory government, or do you favor the development of a proposal to voters that changes some aspect of the existing statutory structure of Canton government? If you favor a change, describe the change you would promote in the discussions among the 15 elected commission members and the reasons why you favor said changes. First of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Olson for having me here today to talk to the people of Stark County and Canton City about this important change. And it is my intention to continue that conversation over the next, what hopefully will be a year in this project. It is my intention to be the voice of the people in Canton City to make sure that their voices are heard in this important project. We are facing a time right now of important change all around our city and this has significant bearing on the changes in this city as well. It is my intention, if elected to this commission, to be a part of a team, effective part of a team that, it, that represents Canton City in many ways, demographics, uh, age, expertise, where we live. It is my hope to be to bring a comprehensive team together at a table to take a really hard look at the government that we currently have and look at that government in terms of, let's say an analogy would be, uh, we're fine car mechanics that are looking under the hood of Canton City's car. Is what we have okay? Do we need any changes? Do we need an overhaul? Do we, is government working as it should right now? We don't have the answers to those questions until we sit down at the table and ask those difficult questions. Now is the opportunity to do that. This November is nothing more than establishing a commission saying, yes, we want that hard look at our city, and then picking 15 people to sit on that commission. If any of the commission members come to the table with a predetermined idea of change. Maybe they have a certain expertise which we should honor and look at. However, I would caution that none of us come to the table like the, the juror in a, in a murder case or in any case with a predetermined verdict without looking at the evidence and the testimony before making changes. And of course those changes will go back to the voters if there's any changes that need to be made. Um, I thank you very much for the opportunity. I look forward to this. It's a very exciting time in our city. Thank you very much for your time and thank you for your vote.